Would you believe me if I said that the entire backswing actually stops here? And if you understand that, you will see more consistency and confidence because it's less to think about. I'm gonna show you how and why you need to implement it. The way you're gonna get this feeling very quickly is the step drill. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna put our feet together, okay? So the ball position will be sort of in the middle of our feet. And this is for the backswing. But what we're going to do, once we've taken our sort of setup here, right, we're gonna almost imagine that the ball is, let's say about there. And as I swing back, as I get to this halfway point, I'm going to take a step forward, just a little bit, which will start my movement back towards the ball. But notice, I don't, as soon as I get to here, step and snatch, it's going to be a, a very much a smooth movement, which is taking the club back, feeling it sort of slow down, okay? As it starts to slow down from about here, I'm going to step. But as I step, you see how it still carries on? And we get this natural lag, this natural sort of release. And it's all because of movement and momentum. I'm not placing emphasis on specific position. And that's what's going to play the most effect, positive effects when you're out on the golf course. Because you cannot think about, okay, I've got to be here, 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 here. You can't do it. The thing that's going to give you the most reliability is rhythm and sequence. This drill is a little bit tricky. So I suggest that you tee it up first because I don't want you trying to help the ball up. So what we're going to do, we take our setup kind of as normal. I'm now going to place my feet more or less together. So the ball feels very far forward, but in actuality, it's actually where it should be just above the sternum or below the sternum rather. And what I'm going to do as I reach this point in my sort of takeaway, my backswing, as I get to waist height, I'm going to plant my foot back down into the ground where pretty much it would be at setup. Okay. So what I'm trying to do is create this sequence of events there. All right. So let's try that. So I've teed it up. And what you'll notice is, even though I was trying to only swing to here, because of the step, because of that extra sort of stretch feeling, it took me a little bit further, a little bit longer. So the more you can practice this with or without a ball, okay? So we, as we get to there, we step. Once you practice the step drill a few times, I hope that you have a sensation that we're using our core, we're winding up, we're moving the club, sort of back about halfway, but there's this slight sort of delay in time where the arms just float and it is a full swing. It is a penetrating ball flight because we've got the natural sequence. And it also really helps you to get away from, if you've got a nice tidier backswing that isn't trying to do too much and turn all the way around here. If we're only thinking about this movement, when you're on the golf course, there's a lot less to think about and you can just sort of brush it through. For those of you wanting a little bit of a challenge and are really wanting to improve your goal swing, you can do the double step drill, which is basically gonna help us with the sequence of the backswing and the downswing, but it is a little bit harder to time. We basically start with our feet together and I start my backswing just like I started my downswing by a step. So I transfer the weight here and that signifies to my brain and everything to start moving the club back this way. Now I'm gonna stand a little bit narrower than I normally would because, and I'm actually gonna change the ball position. Let's say it would normally be here, right in front. I'm going to just move it a little bit there because you'll see why in a moment. Because if that's my backswing, I want to be stepping into the downswing like so to help the downswing movement. So we're not taking big steps here, but I'm gonna go step, swing, step, swing. And when you start having that feeling, you, can, you don't have to hit shots. So it's step, swing, step, swing. You'll notice that it's really removing the arms out racing the body. The body out racing the arms. Everything is just working in harmony. Doesn't mean everything's rigid and working together. It is a natural sequence. And all of a sudden, you'll start to feel a much easier golf swing, an effortless golf swing that really feels like a half swing, but your results are gonna be just as good as my students who try this. I promise you, it helps a ton.